Hello class, this is Mr. Kane with a lesson today on beginning algebra. Beginning algebra. And we're going to do this today with multiplication. You can do beginning algebra with addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, uh, division. You can do use any of the operations. Today we're going to focus on multiplication. At the end of this video, there's a option to click the logo below to link to our website and subscribe and um, and if you find it helpful please do and share this with your friends so let's begin today alrighty let's begin today we have seven times some number equals 42 now just like with the algebra with addition you can actually use a couple strategies there's two strategies I recommend one of them is called guess check and revise and what that means is we're gonna guess we're gonna pick a number and we're gonna put it in to our blank and see if it makes sense and you can do this with most of your multiplication facts or you can really pick any of them that, uh, that you want to try to start with but let's see if you were to put in 4 say you put in 4 does 7 times 4 equal 42? no that's 28 how about let's jump up to 7 7 times 7 is 49 I know I have to be less than 49 and what happens if I put a 6? 7 times 6 is 42. And there's your answer. So now, if you know your multiplication facts, of course, this can be very helpful. Now, what happens, and I've heard students say this, but Mr. Kane, what if it's a huge number? I'm going to be there all day just plugging numbers in day and night trying to figure this thing out. I don't have that kind of time, man. Okay, no, I understand. And that's why guess, check, and revise only helps for so long in your academic career. You need to use other strategies. So let's use a strategy that's called opposite operations. And this does work with, with multiplication. So we're back to our problem. 7 times what number equals 42? And since we are dealing with multiplication, the opposite operation of multiplication is division. Division and multiplication are opposites. So, with that being said, if you take your number, uh, that your, your answer to your number, any, at any rate, and you, here, which is 42, right? Take 42 and divide it by 7. 42 divided by 7, 42 divided by 7 is your answer, which is 6 is 6 and this works every single time if you're trying to find the hidden number with multiplication just use the strategy of oper opposite operations so I hope that was helpful for you um, these these problems can be tricky at times if you need more videos like this just click our logo and subscribe to our YouTube page and then pass this along to your friends and family so that they can get some help too. And also, there's a link in the description to our website. And these videos can be very helpful and I hope it was. So, this is Mr. Kane signing out and I will see you in the next video.